A really nice way of understanding if the level of exercise is suitable for you or whether you should scale back or not is by considering balloons. I have two balloons here. One's not blown up that much and it's quite soft. The other one is blown up quite firm and I can't really squish it in. If we consider our abdominal wall and the amount of pressure in it, like a balloon, and we consider that doming, so I don't expect people's bellies to be doming as much as this, but for the purpose of getting the nice firm balloon, I had to blow it up bigger. But during a task that may typically make us dome, if you're doing an exercise and you notice some bulging at the midline abdominal wall, you might decide that during that exercise you feel it with your hands or fingers. And if you're pushing in and you feel that there's a lot of outward pressure pushing back at you, or that you can't really change that bulge in or domain and it's still there, that would suggest that it may be sensible to scale back that type of exercise or make it less difficult or reduce the range so that you have less domain or that you have less firmness in the domain. For other women, they may have domain and when they go to feel it, they can actually squish it in or reduce it. It's quite soft, it doesn't push back against them. And for those women, I wouldn't even consider modifying the exercise, I'd just continue on and enjoy it. The reality is for some women, there will be no activities that they can do that don't involve some degree of dominance. So we need to find ways to empower women to exercise and not to fear what they are doing. So the balloon analogy is a really nice way that you can check that out and progress or modify as is suited to your individual circumstances.